Hey guys, hope there's no confusion. I have uh, changed my YouTube account name to Going Off Grid. I've been wanting to change it for a while. I just feel like flipping 720 has nothing to do with this at all. The reason I actually picked that name was the first video I ever released. I was uh, just doing flips and stuff on a trampoline, and and uh, I got rid of those videos, videos a long time ago. So it's time to. Uh, change the channel name to going off grid alright so today I got this set up in the shade here got it hooked up to two solar panels but my issue I'm having is this one doesn't seem to be putting out more than about 170 watts where before I've had these things put out like quite a bit more I'm thinking it's because my solar panel voltage is half of my battery voltage, so it's putting out a lot less power. You would still think that uh, it would still do the same watts though. I don't know, maybe not. So I'm obviously going to have to hook up another one of these. I have that same window air conditioner plugged in and running. I had this just because I was testing. And we are pulling 809, 811 watts, holding at 124 volts. And I'm going to let this system run for a bit. Looks like I'm going to need one of those green controllers per solar panel. Which is kind of a pain, but oh well, what can you do? I don't have any more MC4 connectors, or I would have another one of these hooked up. So, that's unfortunate. Uh, pulling way more than I'm putting in, obviously. Checking my connections. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Yeah, just uh, testing out the system. And we're going to see how this goes today. I made a nice long, about 35, 40 foot wire. MC4 connectors both sides. Got both solar panels in the sun. This is a little thing I made a long time ago. Ugly, but it works pretty good if you want to run like a whippersnipper or something. Um, 600 watt inverter. What are we making power wise? 20 watts. 12.3 volts. This is one of those EV batteries. Uh, it's a 2P3S. Works very well. Little buck converter. That's my uh, charge controller. Have it set to 12.4 volts to limit. I got a, um, a capacitor in line before it goes to the BMS just to clean it up because this pulses. Yeah, other than that, I'm going to go inside, get out of this heat because it is hot outside. Oh, I'll give you guys a quick peek of the main system quickly. There we go. Okay. Main system, putting out 1500 watts, and we're in float, so we're fully charged, and it's just holding. So I'm producing, I can produce way more than 1500 watts, but what I'm pulling inside is not using it all. I'm running two window air conditioners, lab, two laptops, a uh, projector when we want it. But anyways, the system is running amazing. I am. I like I really like these inverters now um, and this 8,000 watt is going to be a potential upgrade well, also got this system plugged into that system because we got so much power and we are charging the batteries I gotta get me another one of those eventually to stick on this system so I can start using it and uh, actually start using my gel batteries instead of just uh, just having them for standby backup use. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Look at that, we're almost hitting our peak watts for that unit. It says 8, 880. So we're about to hit it soon. Battery voltage is going down. I'm going to see if I can set that air conditioner to run and turn on and off. I'm going to set it right on the edge so that when it does cool to a certain point it'll turn back off so the batteries will charge and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so 
Still have this running. I have it set to 72. And because the sun is actually pointing right at the house, it's almost climbing in here. Got my extension cord going out, and we're gonna go check out how the system's doing outside. Ooh, my system's almost in the sun. I have to move it soon. Still have lots of sun on the solar panels. Those solar panels are still making lots of power. Still pulling a steady 800 plus watts. Batteries are at 56.3 volts. So the batteries are going down. We started at 59. Uh, yeah. Uh, this has been running for two hours. The, these batteries will keep going all the way down to. Um, well, actually, it goes down till this battery's BMS board cuts it off because this one uh, is the lowest capacity, so that one dies first. And so on. And let's go see. Oh, fan just turned on. Good inverter. Let's go check out the main system, see what kind of power we're making. <coughs> Alright, still making, still on float, so we're fully charged, making 1300 watts. We've made 9.1 kilowatts today so far. By the end of tonight, I'm sure we'll be well over 15. Everything's working great. Got the fan still running. One of my solder joints in this pack broke on one of the balance leads. So this is how good these uh, BMS boards are. One, one balance lead wire is disconnected somewhere. I gotta find it. Cuts all power immediately, thinking that the cell has gone bad or something. So that's good. These are my old e-bike batteries. Um, I, I I killed a cell by accident. I charged it funny with some makeshift charger, and I neglected one cell, and ended up destroying it. And uh, so now I got this this battery here. I'm going to be taking apart to put together in this system because now I have this super ghetto set up. This is that uh, lithium ion uh, hybrid car battery, 500 watt hours, brand new. What it is now, I don't know, probably more like 400. Um, this is was a 48 volt bike. I just literally stuck a 66 volt battery on it and hoped it wouldn't blow up. And it didn't. And it's way quicker. It's quicker. Uh, battery lasts longer. And way more torque as well. So that's cool. Go for a little bike ride with my little girl. Yeah. Everything's working well. Still got the the lipo box. That's a great little power unit. Same with the power it. Thanks for watching guys. Alright. So three and a half hours into the test. We're still running strong. We're holding 74 in the house. Uh, at least it's taking the humidity out, so it feels quite nice in here. And then we got a cord running outside. The little one's watching Despicable Me. And <coughs> let's take a look at the system. Oh, well, it looks like my, my little sunblock got knocked over by the wind. Well, at least not too much damage was done. That's good. I'm just going to move this chair. There. Put that chair on this side. For now. Alright, I'm going to continue to do this after, but yeah, see the sun hitting the inverter directly is a very, very bad idea because it heats the case up so quick because this corner was the only thing being hit by the sun and it's hot. This corner, it's not, it's barely warm. So, that's just going to hurt the inverter. <coughs> we got 
we still got the same power coming in. We're down to 54.7 volts. So, <coughs> just as a note though, this system has been running for three and a half hours with sun. Uh, but when I'm going to be using this in our house trailer, it's not going to be um, a whole lot assisted by the sun because it's going to be later in the afternoon. I'm going to use it for sleeping. I'm going to cool the trailer down so we can sleep. I don't want a hot sleeping environment. So that's what this is for. It's going to die halfway through the night or maybe around 2 or 3 o'clock, which is totally fine. As long as it gets the trailer nice and cool till then, I might turn the temperature up so it cycles on and off then maybe I'll make it through the night but uh, yeah that's what we got going taking a solid 822 watts at 125 volts these power batteries are awesome they only have this red tape on them because uh, the foam was separating on some of these and I wanted to keep it all together so but uh, yeah it's it's working great. The system is awesome. Now what I do have to do is uh, get this system so it's not movable. Like right now they can slide side to side. I'm going to make it so it's not movable. Um, I might put an outlet on the side. We'll see. Right now I like I like it the way it is right now because it's in a, pretty much a waterproof box. So I can put it outside. I can put it wherever I want. So we'll see about that actually. But the system's working great, like air conditioning my house off of this box. This box, this wire, which is going to be wrapped up and stored inside the box, and just two solar panels. Doesn't take a huge system to get uh, the job done. Two solar panels, but, well, it depends. Lithium is better because lithium. I'm actually getting 30% more power than you would get with sealed lead acid because sealed lead acid has a, around 20 to 30% inefficiency. So lithium is awesome for that. So I am getting more usable power just because I'm using lithium batteries. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to let this keep running. I'm going to drain the batteries and then tomorrow is supposed to be another nice sunny day and we're going to charge the batteries. And I'm going to just let this charge all day long and I want to see if I can get a full charge in a day or if it's going to take uh, two days to charge this thing or what, but <coughs> that is the plan. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Alright, so over four hours later, almost four and a half hours, the panels were in the shade. I didn't realize that. Don't know how long they're in the shade for. So I moved them. Getting all right sun right here. Uh, the sun is coming from that direction, so they're not perfect. Now we got 200 watts coming in because the voltage on the output is closer to the voltage on the input, so you're able to get more, as you can see. And this is later in the day, too, which is really weird. I want you to focus. There we go. So, not sure on the battery voltages individually. I know this is the lowest one. It's always the lowest one. That's the second lowest, and then these are almost exactly the same. I wish that I was able to get five that were the same like these, and then I would have been golden, but the system still works pretty good. I know that this operates down to 48 volts. We're at 51.8. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. And I can actually take the sticker off now. This 2000 watt sticker, because it actually does more than 2000 watts now, which is awesome. And yeah, <coughs> still got uh, these solar panels all nicely mounted. Broken solar panel here. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I put some goop on it. Just so rain and stuff won't get into it so much. But I'm pretty sure i got to coat the whole solar panel to keep any moisture out. But it's alright. Everything's working great. I believe this is going to be a great success with two of those controllers. 
and no sorry four of those controllers and four solar panels so there'll be about 800 watts going in when it's sunny so if I can de deplete the system in four to five hours that means I can charge it in four or five hours with the same amount of current going in so I can, maybe I might end up mounting the green boxes inside here we will see I might m mount them on top or on the side I'm not sure I still got two months before we go on our trip and yeah should be fun well I just noticed while I was talking to you guys that the power went out that's it it shut off so if I shut power this meter off will it turn back on Yup, it turns back on okay and if I try and turn this on what happens? 120 volts, everything looks good. Huh. So it turned off because most likely this battery went low enough to where the BMS shuts off with the load. When the load was taken away, the BMS turned it back on. That's my guess. But anyways, we are going to shut the system off. I'll leave it shut off now, let it charge, see how much power we can get back into the batteries. Let's see here. Let's go to this. Oh. Even though this inverter doesn't like the higher voltages actually let's go up to 48 60 let's go 62 volts that'll give me a lot more run time as well there we go now we got that set up for 62 volts instead of 60 we started at 59 volts this time we'll be able, if I get fully charged, which it won't, the sun's going to go down. These shadows are creeping up really quick. Oh, smokes. Some these trees here. But it's okay. We're going to be, this is going to be our tow vehicle for the trailer. So we'll be able to put the trailer on the campsite, go to the beach, open up the rooftop tent on the beach. Uh, if we're tired, rest, do whatever, put the little one down. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. All right, so this is how I'm gonna leave things for tonight, or for the rest of today anyways. All the expensive stuff's in the waterproof case, and the charge controller is underneath solar panels. It shouldn't rain tonight, so we're gonna go like this. And then I got the solar panels back over there to catch the afternoon sun. All right, so this is the next day, uh, 150. We are up to 56 volts. Charge is doing well. Panels are in the sun. They're all right, right around their peak power right now. Lots, lots of solar right now. We're getting tons of power. The batteries in the main system is fully charged again. They're actually fully charged at like 11 or 12. Fully charged batteries, just maintenance c coming in. I could use more than another thousand watts out of this inverter and the system would still keep up, which is amazing. Yeah, thanks for watching.